Mom, I have good news for you. Today, I will be receiving my university degree in humanities. I am happy for you. What's the matter, you do not look that happy. Simon, even though I am pleased with your accomplishment, I would have been much happier, if you had gotten an engineering or science degree. Why is that? Because engineering or science, requires a great deal of thinking, and problem solving. Mom, though you may consider my degree in humanity soft, it is going to help me get up in life. What type of work do you intend to do? I want to become a community leader. I want a job where I can listen to people's concerns, and tell them what to do. Simon, how are you going to solve the problems in our community, when you cannot even take care of your own bedroom? Have you seen how untidy your room is? Don't let that bother you, I am going to clean my room later. Tell me, what is the main issue that you want to discuss, with people in our community? I want people to learn, about climate change, and the impact it is going to have, on the lives of their children and grandchildren. Talking to people about climate change is good, but can, you or anyone else tell me what is the real solution? Do you know that for over millions of years, the climate has been fluctuating, between cold and warm periods? Mom, I know there's no quick solution to the climate problem. Don't look down, I need to know what are your intentions. I have to be honest with you. My reason for wanting to talk to people about the climate, is because I want to get noticed by people. If I become very popular, I may consider running for governor of our state one day. I cannot believe what I am hearing. It seems that you want to use other people, to gain a position of power. People are not going to trust you. Mom, many people are going to favor me over others, because, I like to say to people, what they want to hear. I can also speak well, and I am very handsome. Simon, I want you to remember this. A person's beauty is not in their face, it is in the good deeds they perform. Look at my hands. My hands are more beautiful than your face, because I have used them, to do lots of good deeds. Don't mislead others with your handsome face or flowery speech. Be honest, and helpful to our community. If you do that, you will gain people's trust and friendship. Please son, do not step on others, to rise to the top, because who knows, you may fall to the bottom one day. All I have to say to you now, is be sincere, and authentic to the people you, plan to interact with in our community. Mom, I feel a bit hurt by your words. Your advice has softened my heart. I am going to give up my selfish motive. When I die I do not want, to be remembered for my bad deeds. That is so nice to hear. Hi, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of my videos on a wide range of topics, please hit the subscribe button and click on the link in the description.